The NYPD says crime at bodegas is up by almost 25% since the pandemic began nine months ago. And some bodega owners are now asking the city to advance a bill that would reimburse them for panic buttons. The legislation has been stalled for a year now. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports from the Bronx tonight. The NYPD says shooting incidents at bodegas since the pandemic began are up more than 63 percent. Countless examples of crime include a gunman pushing his way behind a bodega counter in the Melrose section of the Bronx in October. In November, another walked into this Morris Heights bodega while a different man leaped over a five-year-old girl to steal a drawer with $700. 20% more people have been murdered, including a 26-year-old Ozone Park Queens employee. We're over here putting our life in danger to provide food for the neighborhood. That's why Councilman Mark Joni is again asking the mayor's administration to move along a bill he introduced a year ago named Junior's Law after 15-year-old Junior Guzman Feliz, who was dragged out of a bodega and stabbed to death outside. His mother, Leandra, has said a bodega panic button may have saved her son's life. Under the bill, the city would reimburse small businesses for the purchase and installation of panic buttons. It notifies the NYPD and there'll be a sound or mechanism outside that notifies the community that something is going on inside. But the NYPD says panic buttons are not advisable. It has said in the past that the agency prefers that people call 911 because then officers know the situation they're walking into. It's very inexpensive and we can't put a dollar value on life. Everyone uses them. It's being stalled by the administration. Joni estimates it costs a couple hundred dollars and he would first have some of the city's 10,000 bodegas participate in a pilot program. And God forbid anything can happen if you try to pick up the phone. The cameras are already very expensive. We do feel tremendously disrespected and overlooked. A mayor's spokesperson would only tell us the administration is reviewing the bill. In the Bronx, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.